the Amazon. <laughs> Hello, this is Irian from the Variety Gamers UK, and this is me finishing off my 2017 weapon tests. And then we're going to do the D&D prep, which is actually signed for on the schedule. And then play a game for Beetroot when he inevitably gets here. Because the Buzzy Bee is on his way. So first, let's get these weapon tests done. Because forever I've been waiting for the shotgun, so I can finally do them. And we completed the game yesterday, so we can do that and rocket launchers. Select new game to start from Let's the continue. Select a save Let's go to our team. full 100% save. Single play. Select, your weapons before Select your equipment. Weapons. You we are going to go with... Shotgun. G1. We don't really need the Lysander, but we can't get rid of the second weapon, so... The only one we need to test is the G1 shotgun. We are obviously going for the same level we always have, unknown. And easy, because I don't know how much the Inferno on Rex you. But I feel like these weapon tests would be insanely long on Inferno, even though... Not entirely sure if um, the boss really gets tougher in Inferno. I mean, we took it out so quickly with Zexas last time, I'm ch starting to think it's the exact same difficulty across all, but I ain't tested that part out yet. So let's get on and see how it goes. <laughs> he is definitely a bee. Hello there, Indiana, how's it going? We're going dino hunting. Oh god. With shotguns. Ow. Luckily I've got so many hit points. I didn't notice you sailing and I was like, is Indiana going to be here for the start of the stream? Oh god, this is really close range. Oh, we hit it. That's as close range as it's going to be. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. Luckily, he's not going to kill us because we've got over 9,000 hit points, so... Uh-oh. Let's dodge that, though. It's going to take a while for us to kill him with low-level shotguns, that's for sure. But we have managed to kill it with the weakest weapon in the game, the burner. It just took half an hour. This won't take that long. It might take like a good ten minutes. <laughs> Did hi ho come through? I'm assuming you guys heard that and I didn't. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> it's on easy mode. I'm, I'm, I'll be safe. I'll be fine. How's it going anyway, guys? How are our days treating us? I've got plenty of time to talk. Yeah, on Inferno, this thing probably is dangerous. That's why I've not gone Inferno for the weapon test. Hey, we killed it! It's down! So that's the G1, Buffalo G1. Tested. That didn't actually take as long as I thought it was going to. Shotguns is not going to take long at all. Rocket launchers probably won't take long either. I do want to see if hi-ho is just a little bit quiet. Probably a little bit quiet. I mean, I'm sure that's one of the ones I actually made louder. I was probably speaking over it like I do every single sound. Yeah, tell me. Shush! I'm doing a sound alert. Hi-ho. Oh, it is, pretty, it is loud, actually, yeah. Well, at least sound alert seems to work for a change, for me. 
It's all right. We got we got some good ones now. What the hell did I just do? <laughs> just broke the app. Marvelous. I clicked on a new one and it's just like nope. Why is it not working? Are the other ones working? Oh, I needed to scroll. Okay, I needed to scroll up. I'm an idiot. The joy's about doing this on your phone. Here comes Alex, trying to make some Select room. Dirty little blankers, trying to the make a tomb. We better intent. take them the out before they all spell a doom. D E D F D the V D F deploy. <laughs> Be useful if I got it right. What have I done now? Made a load of um, voice clubs. That one was quietly made yesterday. I didn't have time to make it a little bit more. Upbeat. So that's the G1 tested. Now we need to test the G2. Many, many, many new things in the sound alerts at least. Oh, it's alright. Exclamation mark knob cheese now. Oh, after it tags Mike and now there's another sound clip put towards it. <laughs> I had a bit of a ball last night on the streams. I'm always breaking things, it's all good. It tags Mike and now grosses everyone out, so it's great. <laughs> I came up with that idea the other day. <laughs> I hope it's loud enough, obviously. I can never hear the true sound quality because I've got my volume low so it doesn't echo off the back microphone. You know, it still likes picking us up walking and whatnot. Hiya. He's not very happy about me shooting him up the ass. Ow. He hit me with his tail. It's not very f nice, is it? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> trying to run me over. He's going to hit me with his tail. No, he's not. He's going to run away. Come back here and fight. Dirty little flanker. Ow. Hit me with his laser. Let's see if we can actually get me underneath 9,999 hit points. Nope. No, oh, no. Nope. Maybe. I don't know. We just hit him hard, though. Let's hit the dinosaur in his jock. <laughs> oh, he's down. That's the G2 done. Oh, is that the edge of the world? I think that was the edge of the world. So that's another shotgun done. That's the G2. So we've got a bunch of shotguns to test. But they won't take too long because these are going pretty quick actually. They've all got poor range though. So we've got to get in close with every single one of them. But the further we get down the list, the quicker it'll be. Then we can get to rocket launchers and you guys can see the genocide gun. The beast we unlocked yesterday by completing the game. 
It's alright. I've got another one, Indiana, that you might like. Coming from um, Beatrix himself. Thanks to Wardwolf. We leave Beatrix alone for a minute, that's what happens. So next, let's introduce the mech to our shotgun. The governor. <laughs> Wardwolf clipped that one. <laughs> Obviously, me and Velasco had no idea about that. Until Wardwolf told me about it. So you can thank Wardwolf for that one. Oh, I'll... This one's a very, very, very... It's a very spread shot, this one. It's got a massive spread. That's the good thing about these weapon tests. You can tell what the weapons do. You can tell the spread. You can tell if they're absolutely worthless. You can tell if they're really good. Because the good thing about these weapon tests is it showed me that some of the EDF 2017 guns and weapons are absolutely useless. There's literally a bomb that does 2,500 damage and it drops it at your feet. And then explodes straight away. Don't give you any time to get away from it, it just drops at your feet and explodes. Okay, the governor took it down quite quickly. But we had to get in to get the most out of the spread shot. This isn't going to take as long as I thought it was. Yeah, eventually, all of the um, sound alerts will be stuff from this channel. And all the long and noxious ones, that's why they're all bits and whatnot. Like that one. <laughs> I try and keep the obnoxious ones priced. Wide shot. This special shotgun scatters shots over a horizontal arch. Oh, this one probably is going to take a while. There is a talk hole in chat if you want it! Exclamation mark poke catch! I think I've got a talk hole. I mean, apparently I'm disconnected from my own chat, but you know. The joys. The joyous joys. So yeah, I'm always trying to improve the channel, so we'll always have new things. Like, if a good alert comes up, or we complete something like this game on Inferno, the hardest difficulty, we'll always try and do some at the end, so... The plan is, every single EDF game we finish, on 2017 there'll be a new song. We did try and do the song live yesterday, we butchered it. Right, how bad is this shot? Holy... We're going to have to be really close to it to actually make this thing effective. But obviously this one's for wiping out insects. But even just attacking the one enemy, you can pretty much tell how good it's going to be against... It's good close range against it, to be fair. Against insects and whatnot, because you'll see the spread and the range. The problem is the dinosaur's huge, so... It's gone all the way over there. Bitch. Oh no, you didn't get the talk hole. Okay, it's further away than I 
first imagined. Yeah, this one's going to take a while. I feel like the like EDF 20, um, no, 4.1 is going to have a better test of all weapons because there'll be insects as well as the giant dinosaur. God, here we go. It's launching its close range attack. Don't like how close we've got. We need to get it along its tail, really. That's what we're trying to do. It's the best point of all oh, its blasphemers again. I don't generally use the shotguns in EDF games, so this is uh, it's, it's quite good for me trying out all the weapons as well, these tests. Because who knows, you can always find a good weapon just by doing tests, and you can always know which ones to avoid. I'm looking at you, Grenade. <laughs> there we go, he's down. Oh, he actually knocked us down underneath 99,000, 99, well, 9,999 hit points to 9,982. If this was the Inferno one, we'd be dead, probably. I mean, I can try that with, like... Uh, I can try that with a burner and see how long I last at the end. If we want to see me fail against the Inferno one, or see if there's actually any different. I assume it does more damage, but... So we've got the Wide Shot VR this time. An upgraded Wide Shot scatters rounds vertically, making it possible to attack enemies on land in the air. Simultaneously, firepower is also improved. Okay, that should be easier to take him down with. <sighs> Here he comes. <laughs> Stop running at me. Like running away, this guy. If this was another, if this was any of the later defense force, he wouldn't get away because I wouldn't be rolling after him. Well, unless I was playing ranger, of course. Which I'm sure I'll have to do weapon tests on. So. Hiya. Oh, he's not very happy. <laughs> he's deploying his robots. Well, he's like egg things. Oh, he just crushed the building. There we go, we got him. Thing is, I found out yesterday. Don't stand next to the bodies when they fall, because it hurts. Yeah. Make sure. Gotta make sure. <laughs> so happy we completed this. Um, sparrow shot. Here we go. High performance shotgun with strong firepower and rapid hit fire capability. I'm just basically showing them off. I'm not actually reading the descriptions because I'm a terrible host. But we'll, we'll see what they do when we get into the combat. What it says on there is different to what actually happens out on the field testing them, so... 
That's why we do the testing process. Well, apparently you can fire this one like a... Because what I get from that is I can fire it like a machine gun. I very much doubt that's going to happen. But we're going to find out. Oh, wow, we can, actually. It's pretty quick. I mean, I miss nearly every shot, but... So this should die pretty quickly just because we can hit this repeatedly with this gun, but I don't know if it does a lot of damage. And it likes to run, try and run away. Hey, we stopped it, we did enough damage to stop it running away. Not that time though. Oh, we did! Oh, this gun's good at stopping it from running away. Obviously it does quite a bit of damage. Oh, don't you... Oh, wow. Okay, that is really effective. At least against them. I assume that's really effective against swarms as well. So that was the Sparrow shot. I like the fact you two are wandering around in the game. <laughs> no one's blowing anything up, everyone's just wandering around. <laughs> Alright, so let's go for the G3 Burst. Double arrow shotgun. Alright. Buffalo G3 Burst, here we go. And then we're going to go for the explosive finish. Okay, we're going to have to try and be quick. I just realised Stream Raiders is nearly ready, to be very honest. I don't think I've heard many units. This might be the quietest Stream Raiders read for a while. Oh, yeah. Wait. I'm sure I changed fails to zero. Well. I don't know. Well, they took some damage. We slowed it. But like I said, the further we get down, the better it should be. Wow, that's like the lowest show in the bed for a while. <laughs> it's all good though. Though the weekend we haven't been streaming early at all. Wow, perfect. Look, now the better shotguns we're getting, the quicker it's going down. That was the Buffalo G3 Burst. Pretty good. Good quick spread. Probably be, I don't know if it'd be good against swarms. It's pretty good against like one big enemy. Obviously, with range, it wouldn't be good against any transport ships or whatnot. I don't think any of the shotguns are. But... So, have we actually had a good one with good range? Oh, actually, that one actually did have an alright range. That's got the best range so far. So next is the Buffalo G3, which we will do after this battle. In the top left corner of the screen. Yeah, we're... We're probably going to die in this one. We'll see, though. Probably doesn't mean we will. <laughs> Thank you, Indiana. Very much appreciated. Right, so let's use high ground. Do we have any rangers? I see a person with a bow, actually, so... Yeah, we've got a couple of archers, so we're going to go with the usual high ground. This gives us a bit of an advantage to start with. Hopefully that boulder can crush some of them when they come up. Hopefully. Okay, so the boulder can't hit the flyers. Okay.
That poor tank being just marmalised by their air force. What is that thing? Oh, it's a healer, okay. That healer needs to come heal me. <laughs> Taking some heavy damage. But then again, I'm a monk, so I'm supposed to heal myself, I'm sure, at some point. Yeah, come on, take out the big guy. There we go. Oh, we might actually manage this. The sand might be helping us to win. Seven, yeah, we're gonna win. <laughs> I didn't think we had much of a chance, but we got through it. Good, good job, team. We did it. I don't think we're gonna lose against the two mummy orcs. You never know, I suppose. But we do have a healer and a flag bearer keeping us alive. Good thing about Stream Raiders, anything is possible. Right, so, congratulations to Mr. Deckard Shaw for 50 gold and Ukitsu for a Saint Scroll. Congrats, guys. Right, let's continue down here towards the unknown chest. And then we'll grab, start the next battle. And we'll place our Necromancer, why not? Let's get that one done as well. We'll aim it at the bottom, because there's more enemies down at the bottom. And then we'll grab our quests. So our next quest is place five war beasts. So that's going to be the other unit I'm placing today, but that's fine. Right, let's continue where we left off. I think I've changed weapon. Yeah, I have. We've got the Buffalo G3 shotgun. That is the next one we are trying, so let's go give it a whirl. You're going to see a lot of this guy, unfortunately. <laughs> That's how I do the tests. So obviously you can see all the shots of every weapon. You can see the range. You can see how fast it, how you can see damage pretty much. So obviously this guy's got like sixteen thousand hit points. So. There is a swallot in chat for anyone that wants it. Exclamation mark! Poker catch. Turns out I've got that one. And the dinosaur in that time ran away from me. Very nice dinosaur. They always do that. Oh, we can hit it from this range, actually. Oh, yeah, this is the 150 one. This is not too bad, actually. Oh, we can hit it from here. He doesn't like this. And you can also see how the rate of fires and whatnot. This is confidential. Now the South American Command Center appears to have been destroyed. Contact has been lost with EDF forces in the Middle East, Far East, and Siberia. It appears that we are the only ones continuing to fight back. There we go. I would say that's not mission clear, that doesn't matter. <laughs> really does not matter. It's the same mission repeatedly anyway. Alright, so let's select another equipment, Buffalo G3. Let's go to the Sparrow Shop Mark 2. And this is the only 
enemy with sizable hit points to be able to like properly test the power. Oh, I stopped it in its tracks. This gun fires so quickly. It'll probably be dead after the next salvo. Yep. Yep. We're getting three shotguns in no time whatsoever. Good, we might actually get a little bit of D&D prep done. What are they shooting? He just shot himself. <laughs> Select a difficulty before choose your weapons. You may equip up to two. Nice, now we've got the governor. The governor 50. So let's see how the governor 50 fares. I mean, it's pretty easy to dodge. I didn't actually look to see what the range is, so I've got no idea what the range of this gun is. Unfortunately, Swallow escaped. No one managed to catch it. You don't have much luck with them Pokeballs, Indiana. Oh no. That's probably going to hit us. Yep. Hit us with a lot blast. Of course it does. Just don't do it again. I'm, I'm trying to test my weapons. I'm not trying to mess with you. I've got to get really close for this one to get the maximum damage. But it would be really good against swarms. Oh my! It's dead already. Oh, the government's great against that. But yeah, the uh, spread is that's pretty good against. That's pretty good in a cave. That is really good in a cave. <laughs> I think I just accidentally killed a... Yeah, I did. I accidentally killed an EDF troop as well. <laughs> Whoops! Alright, so next equipment we've got... The Wide Shot A1. Wide Horizontal Field. Gotta make sure. I've gotta check, because... Uh, I need to know the best way of using myself. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same difficulty as the Inferno one anyway. Because it did go down with Zexas really quickly. I know Zexas are stupidly powerful, but... It really did only take like 30 seconds. But that'll be another test. That'll probably be in curiosity test more than anything. Basically came on easy so it didn't kill me every five minutes while trying to test out weapons. Better safe than sorry. Oop. Ow. This is this is definitely not the best one to test against a giant ro a giant robotic dinosaur though. Even though if we can get his tail in it, it's good. Since tail works against it when you've got a horizontal shooting weapon. Oh we took it down. Like I said, these later weapons are not gonna say long. 
These are going to be really good against swarms. These right wide shots. I wouldn't say the horizontal one would be that great, even though it does shoot things in the air. The horizontal, this one, the horizontal ones, I'd say are even good against air units. Because drones don't generally come at you in a line. Especially not a vertical line. Right, so next, Buffalo G4. The boss is just going to drop now. This is where we zip through all the guns. And then that's it. We've done every single 2017 weapon there. And if you ever if you ever do decide to pick up the game 2017, at least you know what all the weapons can do. Not against different types of enemies, mind you, but that's why the 2025 test will probably be a little bit better, because there's gonna be insects as well as the main bosses, so. No, not 2025, um, the other one. I can't remember what it's called. 4.1. Okay, Buffalo G4 seems to have some range. Some pretty good range, to be fairly honest. There we go. Like I said, this is where it gets quick. Alright, so, wide shot A1 VR, so this is the vertical A1. So we know what to expect from the, um... Arc. I suppose that's the problem with um, 2017, there's not really many good weapons where you, there's not good, there's no good um, levels where you can take on a boss and a bunch of enemies, you either get the boss or the bunch of enemies. Because every enemy you can face that has a swarm are all ones that you've got to hit in a weakness. I don't even know if I'm hitting it at that point. Hoping I'm hitting it, but, you know, probably not. To be fair, this one will be easier to <laughs> take down. Unless it shoots us with its guns. If it keeps acting like it's doing, yeah, we got it. I like the fact they're still trying to shoot it, even though it's already dead, but they're still making sure. So that was the wide shot A1 VR. Next is a Buffalo G9, so we're going up quite high in stages now. The, the moment we're all waiting for is the genocide gun, let's be honest. I don't even know how the genocide gun works myself. Never, ever witnessed it.
So I'll probably be dead before I get through ammunition. Like 10 shots of like 5 bullets, 20 bullets at like 90 damage a shot. Right, so let's change the weapon. That was the Buffalo G9. Next is the Sparrow Shot Mark III. Oh, they've all got increased range now. It's probably part of the game I'd actually use shotguns. If I ever did use shotguns. So like I said, this is an experience for me. I never use shotguns generally. Use the nice assault rifle and the rocket launcher or loads of turrets. I can tell you that right now, mate. It's using a massive laser cannon. And it's got weird eggs that it throws out of itself. Okay, the Sparrow Shot Mark III is basically an assault rifle shotgun. And just smashes through the robot. The robot dinosaur in no time whatsoever. So what, if you know what shotgun you like, Seriously, you can just stick with a shotgun you like. Because they all generally seem to go in the exact same way. So that was the Spyro Shark Mark III. They basically are just upgraded versions of each other. Like with some of the other weapons you get... Like, they do ridiculous things. Like, with well, some of the AFs shoot in two directions. In quite a far arc, so... There's some weird weapons in this. There's a Poochiena in chat, by the way. Exclamation mark, boat catch, if you want it. I'm going to check now before I start the fights. Alright, let's go. Here he is, Mr. Robot Dinosaur. So let's introduce him to the Governor 100. We're expecting this one to do like twice the damage of the 50. Or at least twice the shots. It's a good thing about EDF, you get ridiculous weapons. Like the said genocide gun. Can't even see the shots. Oh my god, three shots and it's dead. Okay, yeah, that's like 100 bullets. <laughs> that is literally like 100 bullets. Now we know why it's called the Governor 100. So, Governors are great for underground, I'd say. The um, wide shot is definitely great for swarm missions. Probably say the sparrow shot for these missions. The sparrow shot just wrecks the big bosses. Obviously, none of them are going to be good for shooting down aircraft or whatnot. So, Gun 100 was the one we just tested. Next is the Buffalo GSS, the ultimate Buffalo shotgun. It takes time to reload, apparently. You're not having much luck today, Indy. You'll get them now. Keep trying. It's always the best way.
Alright, so here he comes. Oh, we hit him. We did actually hit him. As usual, Buffaloes are quite good against one target as well. So Buffaloes and Governors seem to be the um, one enemy weapons in the shotgun variety. So against all the big bosses, I suppose there is actually, there's giant spiders and giant ants, thinking of which. But I feel like most of these weapons just would just one shot them all. It's not really much of a test. So let's go with a Sparrow Shot MX. Second to last weapon, let's try it. Because that last one was Buffalo GSS. There is another Buffalo. So the Sparrow Shot MX will pretty much wreck the poor Dino before he has a chance to even react. I still don't think I can hit it from here. No, I don't think I would. I'm just pretty much assuming a close range, so I'm not even shooting it before I should. But then when it runs away, we find out, so... Okay, this sparrow shot, as usual, just taking it out in a salvo with its ultimately quick fire. I suppose it depends if you want more power or speed, whether you pick the sparrow or the buffalo. And we'll go for the Buffalo Wide. This ultimate shotgun combines the Buffalo's firepower with a wide shot's shot pattern. So this should basically be the upgraded um, wide shot. And Buffalo all at once. So this will be the ultimate swarm taking out weapon for shotgun users. I would assume. See what the shot's like. Okay, it's not that wide. It's not as wide as I thought it'd be. But when it said wide, I thought it'd be like nearly across the screen, like the wide shot. But so it's got to keep a little bit of buffalo still. So it'd be, this one would be good in a cave. Or just against bosses in general. <laughs> So against the spider or queen bosses. Obviously, I'd probably not recommend many of these weapons on Inferno itself. But at least you get a taste for them. With these little daft fight the dino missions. And I suppose if anyone ever did want like a proper test of, on one of the ones with giant insects, I could always do that. So that is all the shotguns tested. That was the Buffalo Wide. That is every single one. Because we've got them all. The one we couldn't get was... I think it was the Buffalo Wide that we couldn't get. Because you can see every other weapon in the game has been tested. Because we've um, used them all. We just haven't used rocket launchers. They're the only things we've been waiting for to use. So let's go to the rocket launchers and start taking out with them. These probably won't take too long. I'm only saving so it doesn't come up with new on all the weapons we've done. 